It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Tennessee Titans and the Buffalo Bills. And it's coming up next. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Buffalo Bills. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? And we are underway in Buffalo. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Levis now on second down. A quick throw there is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed always different no matter what you do in practice you can't simulate it right so your decision making everything has to be a little bit quicker sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust a tough spot here on their opening drive this is third and seven here's levis and that one too wide and incomplete they are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside great confidence great skill On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. This is taken at the 15. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He's got a man complete. A big play here for Buffalo. 44 yards. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking this secondary. No beating around the bush with this curve. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally you build up to the big shot. 
but not in this case. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. First down, here's the run with Cook. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Ball on the eight, second and two. And now they'll throw with Allen, eluding the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That, too. <laughs> on first down, Levis. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Levis sets up to throw here. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling this flag on that one. Now Levis, and it's caught. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 
I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Pollard will take this into the end zone for a Titans touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defensive yeah, what's guy. going on on the defensive That's side? That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. Here's Allen on first and 10. That's Samuel caught left side, and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Here's a second and two now from the 33. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why not just handle this one? Got all the yards he needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. To the air, Allen. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready, because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy, either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Allen, and this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. 
Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. On second down, Cook. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Here's Allen. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Khalil Shakir from 13 yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Bass on for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he returns this to the 22. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They go back to Pollard on second down, and he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Two yards, good enough for a first. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winging in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Levis back to throw. Over the middle, he's got the tight end, Wesco. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up a third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's third and three. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. We figured they'd come out with intensity and aggressiveness on the defensive side of the ball, and they have an early turnover to show for it. They lived up to their reputation. That's who they are. They want to attack on every play, even though they're playing defense. And you're exactly right. Force their early turnover, and now they'll try to attack again and again throughout the game.
Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. He's got a man. It's his fullback. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. On play action, Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Two yards, good enough for a first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They'll try the middle with Cook. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. So much of the game today... We're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Allen gonna throw. He's got his target, that's complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Allen off the bootleg. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and 10. Back to the ground. Cook. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Here's Allen to throw it. That is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Mac Hollins from 13 yards out. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21 to seven. So that drive goes eight plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. 
Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 33, here's a second down and six. Going to run again here with Pollard. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. This now a third and four. Now Levis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Levis now on first and 10. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here's second and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Oh, nice move. <laughs> And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 44. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. 57 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Running right, it's Pollard. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now a second and ten. A give to Pollard, running left. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Out of the gun, a give to Spears. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Pollard. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. From the two now, second and goal. 
They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Will Levis scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Titans are back within a score. Ah, that's a great alternative there to the old-fashioned quarterback sneak. Instead, let your quarterback take it in the shotgun and essentially choose his own path. He scans the situation, makes the right read, and takes it into the end zone on the QB draw. Extra point up and good by Folk. And they're back with it a touchdown at This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. But James Cook and the Buffalo offense returning to work now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Allen running the option to the left. And he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. He had the option there, decided to keep it, exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run left with Pollard. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 89 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. And he'll get this one back to the five yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the off season and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Levis looking to throw. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Yeah. 
The offense is going to stay out there. We'll see what the play call is. They need to find the right one here on fourth and goal. Oh, they'll run the option right. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Will Levis with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans' decision to go for it pays off with six points. We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner this week. You know why? He's got to let the owner know, I know you wrote the check for his arm, but we're going to make him a part of our running game too. This guy can do it all. Let's see where he takes us. Full connects on the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. Allen now looks to throw. His throw incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Allen now on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. Now Allen again. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. 
And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Bass is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take punts you really don't want to do that in this case they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game maybe time for one play on offense seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's Coach. been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. We were treated to a solid first half of football by the great quarterback, Josh Allen. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. So that is not the way you want to begin the half when you're only up by one score, a turnover right away. And my guess that in the locker room, that's what the defensive coordinator of the other side was saying. We've got to find a way to get the football back for our offense. And they were able to do it. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half. And now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other. So they'll want to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead.
They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Levis. Over the middle, complete. That's Hopkins. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 99 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. First and 10, it's Levis. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Bills are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise... The end result can be something you don't like. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. On play action, Allen. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. From the gun, it's Allen. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. They run again on first down. Cook, this will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Second and a couple. To the air, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. 
And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? To throw, it's Allen. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Bass is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. Well, they got the turnover and were able to drive it down, Charles, but ultimately in the end, the defense holds up and they only come away with the three points. Yeah, they gave up a lot of ground, but when they had to, they settled in and prevented the interception from leading to six points because you never want to see turnovers turn into any type of points against you, but better to give up three than six. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Out come the Titans now. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So... Frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Off the play fake. Levis. He completes it to Ridley. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball, and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. First and ten, here's Levis. Again to Calvin Ridley, and he's got it once more. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Shifts by him, and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, it's Levis. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
Rasul Douglas picks it, and the Bills are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at the 40. So after the INT, it's Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Allen will try again on second down. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And they keep making the connection. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. From midfield, here's Allen. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Allen. And this will be incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Allen going to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. And the Titans getting set to go. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Pollard will take it up the gut. Takes this one up past the 20 after he's able to make a man miss. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. They'll come up now third and three. 
Here's Pollard again. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Levis. Throw left side here into the hands of Wesco, the tight end. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. On second down, it's Pollard. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. The Titans on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and four. Levis to throw it. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Bills going to take over again on offense. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Allen finding Shakir across the formation. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Powering his way forward, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Second down and a little more than a yard here. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, 
in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all the rush coming and he's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. At that time, finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's Allen to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Now Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Mac Hollins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Allen will try to throw for it. He's got it at the two. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Titans getting set and ready to go here for their next drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Working from the gun, here's Levis. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie. But that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Levis. Escaping the pressure right. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time now. Here's Levis going deep for Hopkins. 
That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Allen now on first down. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. On play action, Allen. Quick toss to Knox. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Now Allen off the bootleg. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Curtis Samuel, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bills have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that will make this a 19-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Titans now just about ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Levis. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Titans on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and ten. Levis back to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. 
And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Fourth down, Levis. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll give to Cook on the read option. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, Cook. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Now a second and six. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Early down stuffs have put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? everything clicking for them in this contest the kind of performance that they're going to cherish so that'll do it for my partner charles davis and the best darn crew in the industry i'm brandon gauden this has been a presentation of the nfl on ea sports with that we say so long from buffalo